What is a red? A red is a gravel nest made by a female salmon to protect and incubate their fertilized eggs. The basic components of a red are the pit, the eggs, the pillow, and the tail spill. Where is a red? Reds are usually located where there is sufficient flow to force oxygenated water through the gravels to reach the eggs. Generally, they are located towards the downstream portion of pools and runs just upstream of the riffle. Reds can also be located along a stream bank. Surveyors often detect a red's presence by observing partially exposed fish working ahead of them. How big is a red? Red sizes can range from a couple of meters to several. Their size is relative and depends upon several factors including the size of the fish, the stream, and the substrate. Size will also vary depending upon its stage of construction. Multiple reds can be constructed adjacent to and superimposed upon other red. How can you see a red? The type and amount of stream sediment influences how well reds are detected. Polarized glasses are used to penetrate the water surface glare. Surveying with the sun at your back helps you to see the red. Precipitation can completely block a surveyor's view. Monitor the weather and plan accordingly. Now that you have reached your assigned red survey transect, here are a few tips to help you correctly identify reds. The four Ds were developed to systematically evaluate a possible red site. The four Ds consist of disturbance, digging, definition, and deposition. Disturbance can range from subtle to obvious, depending on the stream's characteristics and how recent the disturbance occurred. Disturbance can be due to red construction, However, other forms of disturbance can cause confusion. Crossings are a common form of disturbance. Look for aquatic vegetation outside of the crossing boundary. Search for evidence of vehicles, livestock, wildlife, and anglers. Stream hydraulics can disturb sediment in areas with sufficient velocity and mimic red building activity. A female salmon constructs a red by using her tail to remove and place substrate. Red construction progresses in an upstream direction. Salmon test the site's suitability by digging a pit. If the substrate is appropriate, they will continue to construct a red. If not, they will abandon it. Such primitive sites can be interpreted in two ways, as an abandoned test dig or as a red in progress also known as an RIP or RIP. There are no eggs in a test or red in progress. These sites are not counted as a red. A site will have definition that suggests it is a red. The pit is a depression created by the displacement of material used to cover and protect the eggs located immediately downstream. The pillow contains assorted gravels that cover and protect the eggs. The interstitial spaces between the gravels allow oxygenated water to reach the eggs. 
The presence of a red is often indicated from afar by water being deflected upward over the pillow. This creates an area of smooth water between the turbulent waters immediately upstream and downstream of the pillow. The tail spill consists of lightweight, fine material that is sorted and displaced downstream during red construction. Trenching indicates an advanced stage of red construction, which usually occurs after eggs have been deposited. Trenches can be several inches deep and resemble canyon walls. The sharp edges created by trenching funnel oxygenated water to the eggs. Trenching along both sides, upstream of the pillow, can leave undisturbed material in the middle of the red that has the appearance of an anchor stem. Trenching is not observed for all reds. Consider the age of the red. Sediment may be absent in a fresh red for several days or weeks and remain well defined. Fresh reds may also be covered in silt. However, they will retain definition. Old reds from previous years will lack definition. Sometimes the best way to interpret what you see is a change of perspective. View the suspected red from the other side or view it from the bank above it. Regardless of what you do, proceed with caution so you do not disturb the eggs if it is a red. The ultimate question is, were eggs deposited in the red? Surveyors cannot see eggs within the red to confirm they are present. Consequently, the systematic 4D method helps to infer their presence. If you do not have deposition, you do not have a red. Having confirmed disturbance, digging, definition, and deposition, record the site as a red. The best way to learn red identification skills is to walk a stream with others and discuss what you see. Here are a few examples of some variability you might see during the red survey. Red surveyors are often bewildered by a red's unorthodox location or construction. It is not uncommon for two veteran surveyors to disagree about such a red. Whatever you decide for a given red, use it to guide your future decisions in order to be consistent.